please welcome to the stage the Honorable Matt Bevin, Governor of Kentucky. Thank you. This is kind of, these are the diehards that are still here. You're allowed to move up to the front tables at this point. Doesn't matter if you're from a particular country or not. You can certainly feel free uh, to consolidate, but come on in and have a seat and, and thank you for being here. It's interesting, last year I came and I was one of only two governors that came to the Select USA conference. And then the word got out because that governor and myself had a target-rich audience, an opportunity to speak to many different countries, many potential investors, lenders, a variety of people uh, who had an interest in investing in the United States, potentially, and in specific states. And so we had an opportunity to meet with many. The word got out, and soon enough, many other people uh, began uh, to come as well. And this year, my understanding is we've had 10 different governors who have had the opportunity to address you. And now on a Friday, uh, toward the middle of the morning, many of you are thinking about catching flights, thinking about heading out. But the diehards, the people who really want to see business happen are the ones that are still here. So thank you for that. I really do appreciate it. I'm, give yourselves a hand, exactly. What we need to do is make deals happen right now so that all the people that left early will wonder what happened and why they missed out on all the opportunities. I will say just a couple of general things about Select USA, the geopolitical uncertainty in the world, the idea of tariffs. We'll get this all resolved in the next few minutes. We'll, we'll solve it all. But I will say this, there's a lot going on right now in the world. There really is. There's a tremendous amount of uncertainty and I'm a business person. This is the first political job that I've ever had. I've never previously been in government before being governor of Kentucky. My previous job was as the CEO of a company like many of you or the organizations that you represent. So coming from that mindset, coming from the background of business, my approach and thought process is a little different than many who have grown up in the government ranks. I came into this world of politics to try to transform and make easier the ability for companies like yours and those that you represent to do business. And so one of the things I know as a business person is that uncertainty is the enemy of building successful businesses. And capital, the capital that you represent and are thinking of potentially investing, capital wants to go First of all, where there's certainty, but also where it is welcome. So I want to share a couple of broad thoughts and then specifically speak to Kentucky. I noticed some of the other governors who got up here earlier gave you just ads for why you should come to their state and how great their states are. And all the things they said are true. But you'll understand in a few moments why Kentucky is actually just a little better even than those other states. But more broadly, whether you come to Kentucky or any of the other states that you will hear from, including those that will follow me, the important thing that I hope you understand, and the whole reason behind Select USA, the whole purpose of this interface between states and the federal government and the Chamber of Commerce, the desire to reach out for foreign direct investors, is because the opportunity is great right now in America in North America, in the United States specifically. There is incredible opportunity. Yes, there's geopolitical unrest. Yes, there is uncertainty. Yes, there are questions about trade policy. But this has always been the case. If you look at the history of nations and the ways in which we interact with one another, this has always been the case. But there has always been a need to find a place where you can invest and get a good return on your investment. And that is what we are faced with now. There are billions and billions of dollars of capital, arguably trillions of dollars of capital, that are looking for somewhere in the world to invest that capital to get a good return on the investment. The United States affords such an opportunity. And of course I'm biased and I think Kentucky is the best of them all, but guess what? For your company, it may not be Kentucky. 
It may be another state, but I would encourage you to recognize that the time is right. There is ample opportunity to get a good return. There is tremendous need for investment in infrastructure, in corporate investment as well in the United States. So let me tell you a little bit about why I came to government and what my thought is about why Kentucky would be a potentially good place for you to look at. I came to government again from the private sector because I was weary of how government was so inefficient as a taxpayer. As someone whose employees paid taxes, I wasn't happy with how the tax money was being spent. The time that it took, the amount of bureaucracy that existed. Some of you have seen people walking around wearing this button. It's a little red button with scissors cutting red tape. When I was elected, I said, we're going to cut 30% of all the regulation in our state in three years. And we are well on our way to doing it. I would encourage all of you in your states, in your countries, in your companies, take this idea and steal it. Make it your own. Because bureaucracy is the enemy of progress. And it's important in Kentucky, this is a focus. If you came to Kentucky, we would get you to yes or no faster than anywhere else you might go. There are other excellent states. You've heard from them. You will hear from them. But no state will move more quickly, more efficiently. My top economic development officials are all former CEOs of companies. They are people who come from the private sector, not through the political ranks. So we understand that time is money and we have a sense of urgency. It has been said that without vision, the people will perish. I think that's true. It's true for a state. It's true for a nation. It's true for any given company. So what is the vision for Kentucky? You can't be everything to everyone. I just spoke to a gentleman from India a moment ago in the elevator. We were speaking about the pharmaceutical arena. And indeed, companies from India and around the world are pursuing pharmaceutical uh, development in Kentucky. That is a strong area of our state. And yet, that is not the number one focus. We can't be everything, so what is it that the ultimate vision is? My vision for Kentucky is that we will be the center of engineering and manufacturing excellence in the United States. And that's not just simply things made of metal, although it is. We're the number one producer of automotive uh, uh, production in the country on a per capita basis, and number three overall. The largest Toyota plant in the world is in Kentucky. All the Ford Super Duty trucks that are produced in the world are made in Kentucky. All the Chevy Corvettes that are made in the world are made in Kentucky. And yet aviation and aerospace dwarfs that. Only Washington State with Boeing produces more aviation-related components than does Kentucky. So already we engineer and manufacture to a great degree. Why is that? Part of it is because Kentucky is where the north meets the south and the east meets the west. It's right in the middle. We have an abundance of water. Railways and roadways and riverways transect right through our state. UPS has their world shipping hub in Kentucky. DHL has their North American shipping hub in Kentucky. Amazon is building their world shipping hub for air, prime air in Kentucky because of our location. We have the cheapest electricity prices east of the Mississippi. So in the eastern half of America, we have the cheapest electricity by a significant difference. These things are attractive to people who engineer and manufacture products. These are some of the reasons that people are coming. We are open for business. Every state is open for business. But not all business is good business. So my commitment to you is that if you come and speak with us here in Kentucky, go to our booth in the display, contact us afterwards, we will be responsive, we will be timely, and as I said earlier, we will help you get to yes or no quickly. We have an abundance of land. The cost of living is much lower than in much of the United States. Any of you who have had meetings in Washington in the last two days understand the frustration of traffic. We don't have these problems in Kentucky. We're about four and a half million people. We're a state that's 26th in land mass. So we're a sizable state, 
but we have an abundance of water, of cheap electricity, quality of life, low cost of living, the values, the work ethic, and the number one most important thing in today's day and age is workforce. We have a highly trained, highly educated workforce with skills, people that are willing to show up on time and be loyal to the company and to do the jobs, to work as team, the collaboration. We have major military installations with people leaving that installation every month as they leave the military, hundreds of people coming into the workforce. We have people that are skilled and ready and waiting. We want to have conversations with you. So if you want to engineer and manufacture anything, whether it is an automobile or an airplane or anything feeding into that, whether it's pharmaceuticals, whether it is computer related, anything that is engineered and manufactured to a high degree of excellence. Kentucky already is the epicenter, but it is my vision that we will be the undisputed center of excellence for these things in the future. And so we are spending hundreds of millions of dollars on workforce development and training programs. Our apprenticeship program is as deep and as broad as you will find anywhere in America. We are learning from some of the very countries that some of you represent. These are things that we are doing now. Kentucky is special, of course I'm biased as the governor. I would welcome you to come. But I also encourage you, even if Kentucky is not the right place for you, to look at investing in America at this time. All of the static will settle down, it always does, it will again. And we will benefit by being partners one with another. It takes time, these things don't happen quickly. But thank you for being here. Thank you for still being here on a Friday halfway through. Thank you for your commitment, for your interest. I will be around, members of my team will be around. Our members of the Kentucky contingent in here, stand up here real quick. The Kentucky team is right here in the front. If you would want to speak with these folks, please do. Find them, speak with them. It's an honor and a privilege to speak to you. Thank you for making the time to come to America. Thank you for considering America. And thank you for considering Kentucky. Have a wonderful day. Thank you.